Razor clams, otherwise known as razor fish or razor shell, have become one of my favourite shellfish to eat and I consider them a real treat for the dinner table. Collecting them is straightforward. Once you have found a beach with beds and an indication that a beach may hold razor clams are empty shells washed up on the upper shoreline. Found towards the low water mark on big spring tides it is just a matter of walking the beach looking for the burrows. I have done a video on how to find the burrows and I will put that up in the top right hand corner of the screen now. Once you find a burrow there are a couple of ways to extract them. Digging them up using a spade or using table salt pure or diluted with seawater. This type of razor clam is very sensitive to changes in salinity and by placing the salt into the burrow it becomes too salty and they extract from the burrow. Sometimes they come up quickly and you can gently pull them out and sometimes you need to leave the salt to do its work and revisit the salted burrows later to collect the clams that have eventually ejected. There are size limits and daily tape limits for personal use only and on this occasion I had enough decent sized clams for a couple of meals. The most common way to cook clams is to cook them live and of course razor clams are often cooked live by steaming them in liquid similar to hard shell clams or mussels. However over the years I have found that this type of clam is better after being frozen. The freezing tenderises the meat and trust me they are delicious after freezing. This is also a convenient way of preserving if you have excess clams. The following is one of the best recipes I have tried from years of harvesting and cooking razor clams. So we've got our fantastic razor clams out of the freezer and they thawed. And the first thing that I want to do is to extract the meat, which is very, very easy to do. And all I do is just take my finger and just run it down like that through the shell and take the meat out and just pop that in a bowl. Now for this recipe, which is going to be a first course, I'm only going to use this part of the clam, what is known as the foot or the digger. But none of the rest of the clam is going to be wasted, the, the good clam meat. That's going to be used for a different dish, a chowder. But for this recipe that I'm showing you today, it's just this foot. So just cut that off and do exactly the same for each clam. Now what I need to do is give these a wash, a rinse under the tap and then a dry with the kitchen towel. Next I'm going to cut the meat up into small pieces and they're going to be about half an inch thick. Now 
now just place that the meat into a bowl. Cover it with a bit of cling film so that it stays nice and moist. And then just pop that in the fridge while, while I prepare the other ingredients. The cooking of the razor clam meat is going to be very similar to the way you would maybe cook calamari squid. That's quickly done in a, in a pan. But the big difference is between the calamari squid and the, and the razor clam is, as much as I absolutely love calamari squid, razor clam, when I can get it, it really is something special. The flavour of the meat, if you, if you cook it correctly, is absolutely superb. So the ingredients that I've got, I'm going to use about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. There's going to be a knob of butter. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic, which have been peeled, crushed and finely chopped. About a half an inch of ginger, fresh ginger, which has been peeled and finely chopped. Got about a tablespoon of fresh parsley, which has been finely chopped. Then going to be a pinch of chilli flakes, but you could also use fresh chilli and just a small piece of fresh chilli just chopped up to your taste. Got some ground sea salt, going to be some freshly ground black pepper, there'll be a squeeze of lemon juice, and then there's going to be about a teaspoon of perno, but other drinks go, go well with this dish as well. Nolly Pratt goes really well. But also white wine would go well as well. So that's all the ingredients. So now just get on and, and do the cooking. So first it's on with the gas. In with a little bit of olive oil. And then in with a knob of butter. Now it's quite important that I keep this over a, a fairly low heat because I, I don't want the butter to burn. In with the garlic and in with the ginger. Another reason for doing this over a fairly low heat is one, not to burn the butter, but also not to burn the garlic. Just starting to sizzle now. Now we're going to go in with the parsley. And in with a few chilli flakes. Now in with the clam meat, the star. They're just going to cook this clam meat, meat until literally it's just done, so it is going to be quite quick. Season with some pepper, salt and pepper to taste. You'll start to see the clam meats go, just start to change colour there. But really important, a bit like calamari squid really, when you do it in the pan quickly, it's really important not to overcook the meat. Otherwise it will just go too tough. Now a squeeze of lemon juice. And then just a teaspoon of the perno. Not too much perno, but otherwise it will 
overpower. But if you use Nolly Pratt, you can use a little bit more, and if you use white wine, you can use a little bit more. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's actually almost, they're almost getting to the point that they're done now where they just start to turn from opaque to more of a white colour. And of course the great thing about this dish, it's actually creating its own beautiful sauce. Okay, that's enough. They've just turned white now, so they'll be done. So now it's just a matter of uh, d dishing it up. As I mentioned, this is just good. these are just going to be served as a little first course. So it's just, in, just into, into a nice little bowl with some of the juices. Absolutely fantastic. We just served this with some nice bread and ideally a nice crisp dry white wine would go really well. But I've got no white wine today so I've got a nice red instead. In actual fact over the years I've found that some red wines go re really well with fish. So enjoy a nice glass of red with it. Well if you've never had the fortune to try razor clam before this type of razor clam and you get the chance to I can promise you is absolutely delicious and this recipe is absolutely de delicious and I wish you could taste the flavors here because these flavors that are coming from this this clam meat is like something I was I would expect in a really really expensive re restaurant but go out and get them yourself come back and, and prepare and cook them yourself they are a real treat and thoroughly recommended. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many, many thanks for watching.